Victorian market is known for its warmth, character and local produce. It is a staple part of the town and is part of Neath's heritage and culture. The market as we see it now was erected in 1837, which was the year that Queen Victoria came to the throne. Prior to this, it had been held on the streets of Old Market Street, which was then called High Street. In 1835, an Act of Parliament was secured and received its royal assent to relocate the market to its present site. After acquiring the land from Henry Grant, William Weston Young and David Powell, William Whittington was granted the building contract. He submitted the lowest tender of £1,650. The general market was opened in 1837, when Neath's population was between four and 5,000. It then had a cobbled floor. Stalls were arranged around the inside walls, with a cross-section of stalls through its centre. Only the stalls near the wall were covered. In 1877, the building was subject to radical alteration, when the whole area was roofed. Following this development, social events were held in the middle of the market area. These ceased when the Gwyn Hall was opened in 1888. In 1904, the entire market was rebuilt at a cost of £8,000, with John Goodridge and Son, a Neath contractor, carrying out the work. Shoppers from the Dillis and Neath Valleys would arrive in town on market day, travelling by bus and train. Market Day was the most important day for the trade-in in Neath. It was the day that the women and the ladies from the valleys, i.e. the Dillis Valley and the Neath Valley, and of course Britain Ferry, Skewin, the adjacent villages, would flock into town. It was the one day when the big shop was done. It was the day that I would say was the heartbeat of the town. That Market Day was vibrant. It must have been so, so exciting to have been on the ground as an observer. Of course, unfortunately, when we are there, when things are happening, we tend not to record history in the same way. If the market ceased to exist in Neath, the heart of Neath would be ripped out. Absolutely ripped out. It's the link between the distant past, the recent past, today and certainly tomorrow. Everyone goes into the Neath Market for something or other. Be it a cup of tea, many, many places in Neath now, of course, serve tea and coffee. But there's a different atmosphere. That word crops up, I know. When you consume it in the Neath Market, whether it's the people who serve it, the people who walk by who will invariably stop and talk. That is one thing about Neath, is the general friendliness one finds on the streets. But it's very evident in the Neath Market.